guys and welcome to Sunday. It's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Whether you're a mother of horses, mother of children, mother of any kind of animal and or mother of dragons. Yes, that's right. I watch Game of Thrones. Um, today, the best gift you can give your mother is a day of peace and quiet and relaxation. So that's what Laura is going to get today. She's going to be able to maybe boss us around a bit. My plan is to be out of the house because she's alone. <laughs> Take the kids with me maybe. And the best gift you can give your mom is uh, for us, breakfast in bed and let her sleep in. And that's pretty much it. That's what she's getting today. So. Welcome to today and again happy Mother's Day. So this morning I'm taking out the horses uh, and I'll take care of all the horses today while Laura can relax and do nothing. Hello boys and girls. Yes, Finn, I know Finn. Storm. Holy. Storm. No. No. You have to wait for your food. I'm not even late this morning. I'm early. I'm early this morning, Storm. Why? Everybody's hungry. Why is everybody hungry so early in the morning? Hey, hey, Willow. Hey, Finn. Hey, Finn. There you go. Stella, girl. Hey, Stella. You're a patient girl, aren't you? Pretty patient. All right, so. Yummy eggs, thanks for making them. Bre thanks for making them for you. Maybe yeah. later I'll make them for you, but for now, they're for what? Me. No. These presents are for me. Mother's Day, man. Me. Mother's Day, did you already forget? <laughs> so we got the breakfast check, the coffee check. Little gifts check. Oh, and I don't mind. Oh, and you got another one, eh? Yeah, you went out and bought another gift, right? Yeah, because I found that. Because was... you just found it and you said, let's buy it. All right, we're set. We need, we got the helpers. Check. All right, let's go. What's your mom have She's been? She's in the bathroom. Right oh. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today. Today is Mother's Day, the day that I spend the whole day in bed. No, just joking. I will not be doing that. Our Mother's Day tradition is that everybody brings me breakfast in bed and presents and everything before I even get up in the morning. What is your Mother's Day tradition? Sam, you didn't post the vlog this morning. The one day I finally sleep in. I always wake up at 6.30. I can never stop myself, and I always wish that I could sleep in. The one day I slept in. I slept in until almost 8 o'clock, and I looked, and the vlog wasn't posted. What happened? What happened? There's an error on YouTube. It was set to private. Anyways, thank you guys so much for bright breakfast in bed. Hey, just open the present. Wait. This is my breakfast in bed, and it's so yummy. Thank you. So we're gonna go small today. All right. So Sophie has this. I keep the container. Yeah, Sophie loves this container. Our subscriber sent it to her long, long, long ago, and she's in love with it. So Sophie wanted me to have. <gasps> I love it. Did you find this at the? Is this the thing you found? Wow, you found this at the dollar store. We don't know who works on horses. That's okay. super cool. I love it. I am definitely gonna try it. It's for dogs, but I mean, it's worth it's worth it. Thank, thank you, Sophie. You're welcome. That is so thoughtful of you. I really want this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's just my kids or if other kids go through that stage, but they always want to keep whatever they buy. But thank you. I love that. <gasps> wow, these are nice. Yeah, I love them. Before I show you, I should tell you guys that for Mother's Day this year, I asked for something really huge, really massive. I asked for a grooming kit for myself so that I could take over the care of Stella, have whatever I need when I needed it, and just keep my own stuff. So it's always there for me. So even though it might seem like this is not that big of a deal, these ones are summer ones. It really is because it's essentially giving me more power over my horse. 
I love them. They're cool. Super, super cool. Thank you. So, so far, two pairs of gloves. Yeah, I love gloves. Okay, so this one's for me. This one's from you? All of us. From me. You bought it all yourself? Yes. No, it's from With your own money? Yes. From all of us. Are you delusional? No, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Right. See what it is. It's a really good Woohoo! I love it. So this is from Weaver. So at this point, I've had the opportunity to use a bunch of different kind of bags, and I actually love this kind of a bag the best one that I can just open and leave hanging open near where I'm going to tack up and groom so I absolutely love it it's a perfect size for me that's my favorite kind of color combination good job all right so this came in it all this tack I mean all this all these grooming brushes you want to open them so yeah. They're very similar to the ones that we already have, but just my own color, so nobody can take them. And Stella's color is That's pink. So this is my new hoof book pick, and I'm so excited by it, but it's weird shape. Is this a normal shape? Will this work? Yes, it's a hoof pick. Mom, look at this. That's a, a oh, yeah, a comb for the tail. And then, this is a weird main brush. Oh, wow, what? That's neat. These oh, are actually pretty color. good quality. Oh, I like and them. And you got a sweat scraper. So squeegee. Yeah, I like that. I love and this because I'm definitely going to put a rope on it and I'm going to tie it somewhere close by so that... I have this one. You like that? It's spiky. I love it. And I like how this goes like this. Yeah, me too. If you ever talk about it. For Mother's Day today, all I want, I'll take care of the cleaning inside the house. Thank God. Isn't that so nice of me? All I want is for you guys. Wait, wait, wait. You can't say anything about chicken coop. All I want is you just set up an area for our chickens to go outside now. Chicken coop outside. Yeah, just temporarily until I find something better. One of my favorite things to do of all time is to just like be in my house and clean it and organize and bake and like I never get a chance to do that stuff. So I'm going to do that stuff and I'm also going to go down and spend some time with my mare and all the horses and really bond with them and spend time with them because I feel like when we have people over like yesterday I don't really get to spend that much time. We were running all day. So first order of business, can you guys guess what we're making? Ooh, there's sugar. Sugar and bananas, banana bread. banana bread. Yep. Later today, we're gonna have a little get together yes, with all my banana bread. With all my family, you gonna put chocolate on your banana bread? Yeah. And I like to give like my grandkids banana bread to take home with them because it's just something fun for them. Another thing that I really love to do is cut the grass. I love cutting grass. Like it is one of my favorite things to do. But while I was cutting the grass, Gabby discovered something. Ruby's a dog god. Ruby's She's a, a dog jumping god. god. Yeah. Let's go see. Okay. So this is the start of my temporary chicken coop. This farm this year is all about the temporary. Um, Sam has been making it. I do not know his plan, but it's kind of nestled here in a bunch of trees, close to the road, but also nestled under a hill. One thing that bothers me a lot is thinking that my animals are cold or wet. And I know that a lot of people think that that's crazy, but I've seen firsthand, you guys, how animals really love comfort <laughs> love comfort life so I, yeah it bothers me to leave them out here all wet and exposed so that's where why we planned our little chicken coop um to be nestled in here so it's kind of like sheltered a bit oh it's nice in here oh i missed this barn like 
I didn't come down and do chores this morning and it made a huge difference. Willow's the most excited. Stella does not care. Willow's like <gasps> excited about what? Oh, the, you think the horse should be excited about the green box? No, Willow's excited. Oh, it's hot in here. Okay, whoa, 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 wait. I'm doing hoof pick. You want to try my hoof pick? And, and the glove. And you want, okay, so Sophie. And this grooming, this so, grooming glove I got you, I'm trying. Sophie wants this grooming glove. She's like, you got your own set. Like, why don't you let me have this one? And I'm like the kind of mom that would let her. So uh, let's try it out and see if it works first, okay? Okay, you need to hold this while I do Stella's foot. Love it. Yeah. Bring them in. But Stella won't come in. But you are the boss, who's the boss? And then you guys need some more water. Some grass. They want their lunch. Look at how gorgeous Finn is looking. Like that is not the pony we bought. It's always a family affair in the paddock. How does it work? You have sneakers on. I know. So this is where I plan to hang my bucket. Could make it shorter too. And this is our other bucket that I was using. It's mine. Yeah. No, this was some Willow's owner gave this to us a long time ago. So in there, in there we have a few extra things. See how it's different. Yeah. So these are like hard, which are better because hard is better. Then these are rubber. Oops. And these ones are softer, like Did more... you already use them on Yeah, Sarah? I used it on the cat and literally the hair just poured off of her and it, and it feels just as effective, just totally different. Let's try it on Stella. We're gonna take the boys to eat some grass because I'm gonna talk to you about our grass field and, and the plans that I have for it. But before I do, I wanna give you guys a couple of little updates. One, the chiropractor said Storm was so much better and she was really impressed with how he looked and so is our farrier actually. Um, and she said he's doing a lot better. Finn had um, a big knot in his butt, which is one of the reasons why I didn't want to buy him. When we went to see him and the owner rode him, literally it, it looked like to me like he was sore in his butt. So anyway, she did fix that. She said he adjusted super, super well. Uh, I'm gonna get them both done again. Like. Anytime you ride an animal, I feel like it's not a bad thing to have a regular chiropractic appointment just to keep them up. Right. Oh, I like it. So, whew, it works, but it's softer. Maybe not as effective as the other ones that we have that we bought. These ones came from Amazon. But yeah, it's nice because it's soft on them. I I think I like it. Was that Finn's jaw was out really, really badly. It adjusted really well though, went right back to normal. And he, so I asked her what, like, is that because he was shaking his head and put his jaw out? Or is his, was he shaking his head because his jaw was out? And she said, she doesn't know. Like it could be either one or the other. So hopefully uh, the head shaking maybe will be better now. We're gonna go and eat some of the field. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about is that Sam wants to mow the lawn in our field. And all the people, all of our team, they all say don't do it. But I've been like reading up on it and I think it might be something I wanna do because for all the reasons that um, mowing the grass uh, makes the grass better quality for them, it uh, helps them to eat all the grass and not just like eat part of it and choose a part that they like better and then the rest kind of gets all wrecked, keeps the weeds down. Like there's so many good reasons, but what one thing I didn't find were a lot of bad reasons why you shouldn't mow the horse's um, field. So comment below. I just want to do it like the first time before we really put them out there um, and whatever they can't manage on their own. So anyway, comment below what you guys think about mowing your horse's field. I've seen fields that have been mowed and I love them, how they look um, and I've seen fields that have not been mowed. So uh, comment below what you guys think about that. Water buffalo, we can see them from our farm. 
Woo, woo. So uh, this is the grass in our field. It's getting like crazy. He is so energetic. So this is a nice field in itself. I know. So this is all the grass that, I, that Sam wants to cut. He just wants to cut it all down and start fresh. Yeah. It's actually comfy. We can do 24 hours out here in the oh, summer. 24 hours in the horse field! Do you want to do it? This, because it's so soft and yeah. comfy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for eight year old. old. He has yeah. turned, yeah. only 12. Just turned 12. Yeah, I can't believe he's 12. Hmm. can't believe we're sitting in our field with our horses. Yeah. Like, what are the chances that would ever happen? This is dangerous, so don't do this unless don't you can get children. up right away. Yeah. Look at this little present I made for Stella. Like a little bow. I tied it up. This is what I'm going to take back for her. Make one for I'm Finn and Willow and Stork. Sophie so wants, wants me to make one for... So I can decorate Finn with them. It is also not lost on me that I'm sitting in a field on the ground with my two daughters and their horses and we're making little presents for our Guys. horses on Mother's Day and I'm getting to spend this quality time with them. Like not everybody gets to do that in this busy crazy world and I am appreciating it for sure. That's not Sophie. Who's this? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. So my youngest son Nick invited us to his house for dinner and we had a yummy dinner. What did we eat? Pizza. And what else? Salad. Did you eat salad? No. Kids do not like salad. Pizza and I salad. I love salad. Oh, how come you didn't have any? Because I didn't know there was salad. Pizza and salad, and then what else did we have? Did you have cake? And we had cake, we had chocolate cake. Anyway, right now, all the big adults are playing poker. I did not see that coming. And all us girls are sitting here thinking like, what are we gonna do to have fun? And we're going to do this. So luckily, Nana had cards in her purse. And we're gonna play memory. We're gonna play memory. Jacob, you wanna play cards with us? You're missing this one though. I belong to it. How come? Because she wants to play minions. Do you want to play minions? Get Sephora. I do like to play minions. How do you play minions? I don't play minions. We've been playing poker. And I do play minions. Oh, with Auntie Sophie? <laughs> Mom. He's the winner! Mom. He's the winner! Alright, we're back from uh, Mother's Day dinner and uh, we're bringing in the horses. So before we bring in the horses, here's a question for you girls. What's one thing you love about your mom? She buys the saddlebags, still. So you love about your mom, she buys you saddlebags. Yeah, what's, and you. What's another thing you love about your mom? Uh, she buys me tacky. What's one thing you love about your mom? She lets us keep horses. Up to you, you would not be doing it. Mom, here, you All I love about your mom is that she's a very caring person and she loves us all back. Hello. Hey, Stella. Hey. Get in there and then you can eat. Come on, Willow. Girl. Whoa, come on. Whoa. I know it's past your dinner time. I know it's past your dinner time. We have to teach him some manners. Yeah, you do. We have to teach him manners. No, all the way open that. Wow. 
Everything's getting antsy because it's dinner time. Okay, Gabby. Hi. Good boy, Storm. Good boy. What is something you love about your mom? She's nice. Why do you love your mom? She homeschools us. She's caring and she homeschools you? Yeah. Anyways, the horses are in and we've got to wait till Storm finishes eating. So that's it. I'm going to say good night and we'll see you tomorrow. And happy Mother's Day. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.